like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars let me give you four keys very quickly within the time that we have and then we pray is god helping someone my assignment is to provoke your spirit to look at your life and say this cannot be my destiny i'm i'm tired of giving excuses let me access superior graces and rise in a way and manner that brings glory to the name of the lord number one the first key that controls speed is wisdom matthew chapter 25 from verse 1 to 13 this is the parable of the ten virgins and the bible tells us that the bankruptcy of wisdom can translate to delay am i right on that yes we may not have the whole time let me just um narrate the story so the bible talks about ten virgins they were all virgins so it was not an issue of sin or righteousness it was wisdom and foolishness are we together now and it was time that revealed who was wise or who was foolish all of them looked wise but time began to separate them if you saw all of them in the morning you would call all of them wise but the delay of the bridegroom started separating them into two categories wise and foolish others took extra oil the bible says and others just ignored it and as time went on the bridegroom delayed you see why delay is dangerous if he came early all of them will be credited to be wise but the delay of the bridegroom began to reveal a deficiency in the virgins and then as time went on their lamp was still intact but the oil had finished and then they heard the sound they woke all of them and said the bridegroom is on his way coming and they begged the other five they said no go to them that sell and buy as they ran to go and buy we came back and they met the door closed so the bible says walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise redeeming the time because the days are evil if you are bankrupt of superior wisdom you cannot have dominion over time hallelujah coming for a conference like this is a manifestation of wisdom because in three days one week you can access light that redefines the next course of 10 20 30 years of your life it is a very profitable bargain help those under the anointing just just help that gentleman there listen are we together now wisdom the bible says wisdom is the principal thing it says in all your getting get wisdom he said dot not wisdom cry he began to speak about wisdom by me kings reign and princes decree justice that with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness the excellency of wisdom show me a man who is limited by any factor but has access to wisdom i show you a man whose dominion is still intact wisdom number two very quickly the second key that controls speed is favor hmm. i can spend all night teaching you about this exodus chapter 12 and verse 36 exodus 12 36 let's read it together if you can see it please exodus 12 help us media exodus 12 36 are you ready let's read one to read and the lord gave the people favor in the sight of the egyptians uh-huh so that they lent unto them such things as they required listen they are about to leave for the first time in 430 years and the bible said where would they start working to get all the things they would need for the journey the bible says in one night something came upon those people i hope you know that those who were giving them this same thing were those who refused to give them straw one moment you are refusing to give a man straw the next moment you are giving him gold and begging him to live in a hurry now let me show you another scripture that will bless you do you love the bible 
Esther chapter 2 and verse 8 and 9. Never forget this scripture in your life if you are a Christian. This is Esther now, in the midst of many other virgins, hoping to be selected as queen. I want to show you something in verse 9, but let's read verse 8. The Bible says, And it came to pass, when the king's commandment and his decrees was heard, and the maidens were gathered together in Shushan, the palace, it says to the custody of Haggai, that Esther was brought also, so she was just one of many of the women, to the custody of Haggai, the keeper of the women. Let's read verse 9, Jesus. And the maiden pleased him, uh -huh, and she obtained kindness. What was the result? And he speedily gave her, stop, stop. What did he do? Because favor was upon her, the man speedily gave her. I don't know who has delayed in giving you. There are things you should have handled right now. There are, there are signatures that would have been on that document. And by now, certain things would have happened. In the name of Jesus, may you be speedily given. Speedily given. Speedily given. I prophesy to you, be speedily given by the Spirit of the living God. Please sit down. That a woman, a village girl, can obtain favor from this man and he speedily gave her. The Bible talks about the cup bearer of a king called Nehemiah. That because that man had favor, the king saw his countenance and said, Nehemiah, why is your countenance falling? And he said, I'm here serving you and uh, the walls in Jerusalem have not been rebuilt. Immediately without requesting favor at work. The king gave him everything he needed and wrote letters so that nobody will harass him on the way. Favor is powerful. You may have heard me say, who hates you does not matter, but who likes you matters. That is the assignment of favor. There, are, there is a threefold feature of favor if it is genuine favor you know that favor is at work upon a man because you will see unusual kindness unusual access and unusual acceptance if you do not find a cohabitation of these three forces it was not favor unusual kindness unusual access unusual acceptance these are the biblical tests that show the presence of favor in the life of a believer. One last time, unusual kindness, unusual access, unusual acceptance. So the forces that control speed, dominion over time, number one, wisdom, number two, favor. Number three, speed provoking prayers. You can pray yourself to speed hallelujah in first kings chapter 18 just write for reference from verse 42 to 46 the bible talks about elijah praying that he submitted himself and he prayed and kept telling his servant go and look go and look go and look and at the seventh time he saw a cloud like the fist of a man's hand and he said tell the king saddle your donkey run i hear the sound of the abundance of rain and then he himself the hand of the lord came upon him and the bible says he ran on barefoot do you know what it means to run on barefoot and then overtake the chariots what kind of speed would that be hmm. but thou O oh lord art a shield for me my glory you lift my hand but thou O oh lord art a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head 
you can lock yourself in the place of prayer and say lord i need to ward off these forces that are impeding my progress that the only thing growing in my life is my age nothing else is growing in my life I, you can you can engage in strategic prayer there is something about a believer that has been provoked unto righteousness you can pray yourself the bible says jesus listen jesus dismissed the apostles the disciples now they had used the boat and they had gone ahead of him they were six hours ahead of him while he resorted to pray six hours you would call that delay but as soon as he was done praying he got up and did not need a boat he started walking and in no time he had caught up with them to a point where they saw him and thought he was a spirit and peter said if it be thou bid me come he said you too can operate this dimension come come a boat is only one of the ways you can move there is still another technology by which men can walk upon storms a boat will require skill and effort but whilst you are walking do you believe this that you can lock yourself and pray and say father i've been in lagos for 10 years 20 years the two leaf gate of this city has not yet opened for me i can pray dominion over time dominion over time dominion over time it says and i will restore the years it is god is within his power to restore years not just things to restore years hallelujah I know many people that after COVID, they almost plunged to depression. They lost money. They lost everything till date. Many have not recovered. Let me tell you the truth. I believe in process. But you see, you do not have all the time to crawl your way to an enviable destiny. That is why God left us an advantage. Speed being one of them. You can pray and rise up to find yourself in a realm of possibility that people will look at you and say how did you get here they will ask like isaac how come you have gotten this so early i thought when you graduate you wait for at least 10 or 20 years how come in one year they have made you the african representative of this company what happened and you will answer them like jacob answered only that you will not be lying what you'll be saying will be the truth that the lord had brought this that there is a name he is called ebenezer that god can choose to help a man listen there are many times where blessings have been released that's i started that scripture to tell you that everything you will need for life and godliness has already been released in christ but you see it happens through men the manifestation of greatness is highly men dependent this is the reason why pastor was sharing on relationships and there are demonic forces that can stop the men to meet you he says i desire to come to you even i paul once and again but satan hindered us do you know that it was the forgetfulness of one man that added two years to joseph in the prison we don't know how long he stayed in the prison but one helper who forgot somebody had a memory problem and another person was suffering it shout no way one more time say no way joseph remained in the prison lord but i thought you said i should have been out by now the man to be used to bring him out forgot the same way you've invested in the life of so many people and they left you with promises since 1999 since 2005 they forgot thank god there is a mystery called the book of remembrance the bible says and that night could not a hazard or sleep and he said bring me the chronicles i don't know who i'm speaking to you have invested in the lives of people in the lives of companies in the lives of many and they have forgotten you tonight in the name of jesus the son of the living god may the book of remembrance be open for you yeah. hallelujah the bible does not say it but i believe with all my heart that in that prison joseph was praying i don't have the time to show you but you see the prison is a mysterious place in destiny it's a place where both good and bad people meet the prison is like the cross 
when you see people in the prison don't be too quick to talk you may be talking about joseph or jesus on that cross jesus was there on that cross two thieves were there just because you see men on the cross you don't know what face in destiny they are in the prison is where both good and bad people meet but prayer is what leaves others in the prison while others go out there at midnight paul and silas is it not in your bible all of they were not alone but while others were lamenting is this how our destinies will end he said no i know i can do something to time the bible said they prayed then they sang loud enough for everybody to hear i'm sure they were saying don't disturb us with this your gibberish these tongues you are praying but heaven was moving and the bible says it was not an angel that came an earthquake i've done a teaching on open doors and if you care to know let me tell you there are three keys very quickly anytime a door is closed there are two principles for opening that door number one is by the use of right keys when you use a correct key a closed door opens number two by knocking the bible says for everyone that knocks it shall be opened. so you are not the one who opens it if you don't master relationships your knocking will not work because the person at the other side must be your friend for the door to be open and then number three which is the one i want you to do this night you don't use a right key the urgency is too much you don't knock you shake the foundation and break the door the bible says when they sang when the glory of god came in that prison the door was not open the foundation was rattled and the bible says all doors open how many all doors financial doors all doors open it didn't matter how long they had been closed because you see sometimes when you use a key and you pass the door can close your children and those behind you will still be in bondage but when you break that door the bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder listen i really want you to believe in the power of prayer you redeem time never take the time i was told graciously that you have invested so much time praying and preparing for this conference don't you ever call the ministry of prayer a waste of time many would rather sit down in front of a man's office from morning till night and he will come out and say sorry i've not seen you you just keep waiting there and they say i'm not angry i'm not offended whereas you can spend half that time with the master and then he begins to move men is god not called the father of spirits every spirit is on is subject to him Amen. hallelujah the father of spirits that you can pray why is this ministry not growing why is this business not growing why are our partners living the bible says is any man afflicted james 5 13 he didn't say let him lament let him pray let him pray luke 18 and verse 1 he spake a parable to the end that men provided you are a man god never prayed as god but when he became a man he prayed all day every time he spake a parable that men ought always to pray listen if you fold your arms and watch things no dive in your life waiting for sympathy or mother nature or some kind of sociological coincidences to happen for the believer you define your possibilities you are given access to partner with god god is provoking someone tonight he said the reason why satan seems to reign over your life is because you've not gotten angry enough to shut your door and pray yes sir you can pray seasons out of your life you can pray seasons into your life you can pray things out of your life you may not have the power to manipulate the unjust judge but you can pray he says there was a man who neither feared god nor regarded men may you never meet such a man in your life that must be a dangerous man 
He does not fear God. He does not regard men. What kind of a man is that? I'm praying for you again. May you not find that kind of man in your life. When you find a man that fears God, you can ask God to speak to him and he will obey. When you find a man that regards men, you can use relationships as a leverage. But where, what do you do with a man who is a judge? Meaning he's not a dummy. And yet he does not fear God. He does not regard men. And here comes a weak, supposed helpless widow. But prayer. The Bible says she told him, avenge me my adversary. And for a while he will not listen to her. But for her importunity, her persistence. The man said, even though I do not fear God, nor regard men, but this woman continues to weary me. So prayer wearies things. Everything that is a resistance, it wearies it until it releases. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's wrap up. So wisdom, favor, speed provoking prayer. The last key that controls speed is the prophetic. Hosea chapter 12 and verse 13. The Bible says, and by a prophet, and by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet was he preserved. Prophetic decrees are not empty words. The prophetic, when it is engaged within the boundary of scripture. Now, every time I talk about the prophetic, I always want to observe that I know that there are issues, unfortunately, with authentic prophetic ministry across Nigeria and Africa. But that does not mean that the prophetic does not have its place. You ignore the prophetic, your life will be stunted almost indefinitely. The prophetic Jesus your Jesus needed three prophets in his life for his destiny to open up number one Simeon the prophet number two Anna the prophetess number three John the prophet that you call the Baptist hallelujah 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 the Lord is opening my eyes I'm seeing an email and it's written on that email congratulations this is what I'm seeing I'm seeing an email and on that email this is what I'm seeing congratulations I don't know who that is for but in the name of Jesus I release that grace upon you for as, for as long as the Lord lives you will testify hallelujah